Good evening, guys. It really looks nice to see you people out here attending this webinar on algo trading for non programmers. I'm very thankful to Algo G team to promote this kind of webinar into their channel. And I would also like to appreciate your people's dedication wanting to learn what's new in the market. So I see there are around 45 people attending this webinar and I'm sure most of you must be an experienced trader and few of you must be a fresher wanting to learn all about you know algo trading so good so we go here before i go ahead with my actual content of this webinar i would like to give you a short brief about ourselves and my company my name is sugreem vishwakarma i have been working in this company for last eight to nine years and I've been assisting clients to build their trading systems for algo execution. About my company, we are into market for last 25 years and we have been giving solutions to mostly all class of people in the market. So we have this new product named Fox Trader. What we have in this is, you know, we have covered all possible things what we can do out of technical analysis. Plus we have included trading capabilities also into this. So let me tell you a trader's experience is like uh, what traders do at the moment is, you know, on, on their machine, they have an application where they perform their technical analysis they plot indicators on it they you know come out with uh, a signal on chart and based on that signal they actually go to their trading platform and execute their orders so it's like they are using multiple applications to achieve their trading goals however fox trader is just one application which will handle both of your requirements it will give you all possibilities that you can think of in the domain of technical analysis plus it can give you a trading capabilities as well so you can build any kind of trading systems into our product okay so that is what we will cover so we will cover what kind of trading systems you can make in our products and how you can take them uh, to an execution level right so the topics that we would go through in our webinar is you know we will see how a trend following systems can be made in this we will also see how other trading systems like momentum scalping pair trading multiple time frame stock ranking based and derivative kind of a system how it can be made in our platform okay so these are the uh, things that we will go through in our webinar session today before I go ahead with the actual, you know, uh, construction of these kind of uh, system, I would like to show you people a very common, uh, you know, uh, signal which you can take to execution level in no time, right? Most of the people in market uh, look at the average crossover as their signal to fire orders. There are a few other people who look at RSI crossover, some look at MACD, there are some who look at Ichimoku trading signals. So uh, to you know summarize, I mean we have uh, uh, some um, known indicators in the market on which traders follow signal, right? So all those general indicators we have in our package as well we have a ready signals available on them which you can plot on the chart and you can execute them in no time so let me show you a small example here okay this is a nifty 50 chart order will not go on nifty 50 because this is not a future chart this is spot chart so let me open one chart here let me open sbi and bank 
okay so this is a daily chart of SBI I will convert this to intraday chart you can go to you know toolbar out here and you can select which intraday time frame you want so let me go for five minutes intraday chart here so this is five minutes intraday chart of SBI I want to convert this in candlestick form all right so I have around you know 10 days of uh, back intraday history of State Bank of India for five minutes so I was uh, to show you a moving average crossover on this so let me go to study manager this is the place where you can add different indicators you can combine them together to form signals you can modify them at any point of time you want to you can remove them you can save it and you can load it at any point of time you want to so let me go to add here now when we go to add these are the categories in which we have all the indicators divided so in studies category you will see all you know general indicators which are uh, widely used in the market so we have over 300 indicators of such kinds then we have some line tools wherein I mean this is like uh, uh, a mathematical tools that we have given so if you want to perform any addition subtraction multiplication want to calculate square root there are so many mathematical indicators that we have available here which you can perform on the general indicators we have built-in patterns out here like if you want to filter out uh, uh, stocks based on bearish a continuation of a candle pattern you can filter them out okay so these are all you know candlestick pattern related signals that you can get we have covered all point and figure signals as well here then based on swings if you want to find out the stocks making higher highs and higher lows or higher highs or lower lows so any such combination based on swing you can simply plot this indicator and you know run a scanner on it so up, uh, these are the ready signals that I was talking about like you know signal to average crossover signal average crossover so this uh, signals you can directly plot on the chart to get signal based on that indicator construction then in strategies a category we have you know all uh, uh, strategy backtesting tools then execution tools so we'll see a few of them out here let me go to conditions category I have you know some ready conditions available here too so there are most of the people who follow you know two moving average a crossover so as I said it is just the matter of uh, plotting a ready signal and then plotting an, another indicator uh, to put it as an order so let me plot condition two moving average crossover here let me go for a shorter moving average of two and four so that I get you know numerous signals that uh, I can show you how order goes through it okay so this exponential 2 and 4 moving average I'll click on apply so this is how it will appear on your chart okay so it's like when moving average 2 cuts moving average 4 in downward direction this will go below zero level the middle dotted line that you see here is is at a zero level so if this indicator goes above zero it means it is a long zone if it goes below zero it means it is a short zone so this was all short this was all long okay here we are getting multiple signals because the kind of average that I have chosen is too short all right so it is just to show you uh, the signals coming how it goes as an order okay so it is a matter of plotting a ready condition and uh, then you can plot one more indicator which will take care of your orders so that indicator is condition to order okay so in condition to order it will automatically take the average crossover condition here you can specify on which script you want to fire an order so i can have my signals coming out of you know nifty spot chart and the order is going into nifty futures so that is the reason we have given this script name function out here so that you can pick signals from some other chart and put orders into some other okay 
However, let me take the same chart out here, State Bank of India. I will take the long amount as 500, 500, okay. Now, do you want to send the signals to the exchange? I will say yes, I want to send this as an order, as in when I get signal based on condition two moving average crossover. In which account do you want to fire an order? Okay, whether it should be an MIS order, normal order or cover order, you can select. You can give uh, a name to this strategy. I will put SBI crossover strategy or any strategy, you know, intraday strategy I'll put and minimum quantity should be two. Okay, the order when, when any signal triggers out of SBI bank, okay, uh, it will, uh, come as an order into my planned order book. What exactly is this? I will show you. Now the order that will come based on the signals, it will actually come on the LTP, right? So if it comes on the LTP, it is quite possible that you will get trade or you will not get trade because it will fire a limit order. We have an option of firing a market order as well. So if you push a market order, your order will get traded anyhow. However, if you're putting a limit order, the order will go at LTP on that signal bar. So uh, if you want your order to get traded anyhow, I can put some percentage out here like, you know, 0.1%. So what it will do, it will add 0.1% to your buy order price. It will subtract 0.1% to your sell order price, right? So. Uh, it will make sure that your order gets traded anyhow and how long this order should be valid i will put it as 60 seconds so that order will stand for one minute in the market for execution okay so you can give it some name apply okay so these are the two conditions that i have done on my chart now if i if if you look at the chart okay i got a signal over here i got a signal this cell is continuing right now Okay, let me convert this chart into a lower time frame chart so that uh, we get frequent signal and see how the order flows. Right now, I'm already logged into my trading system. Okay, that is the reason I'm able to see this trading menu options. So here is the place where you can see your orders. This is the place where you can see your trades. We have product wise position where it will show your net quantity of all the scripts that are traded. It will show you strategy wise position. What exactly is this is uh, you can run multiple strategies on one stock on SBI. I can run two different strategies like intraday strategy, positional strategy, um, then a daily strategy. Okay. So uh, all three strategies will be monitored separately out here. However, in product wise position, it will show you just one row of State Bank of India with the net quantity being on hold right but in strategy wise position it will show you three different strategies three rows of state bank of india uh, monitoring three different strategies separately okay so i got a buy signal here but when i converted this chart we were somewhere over somewhere over here that is why the order did not trigger so i'm waiting for a signal to come in sbi Okay, let me, uh, you know, reduce the averages so that I get a signal here. Let me put it one, two. Okay, right. So I got a buy signal here now. Okay, this is a planned order window. This is actually an order book which we have made. So all the orders coming out of the chart or scanner, it will actually come here in planned order book from here you have to click on enter or you know click on a button called do which will actually push the order so see i i mean i got a sell position here so i got a sell order of state bank of india now i just have to click on do so that it goes to the exchange okay so it was placed it was pending first and then it got traded right okay after sell i got a buy signals out here so do you want to push it okay so this is a square of order one is a square of order and the other is a main order so this is square off so this will actually go in the market okay so this got traded and i want to buy this okay 
so this is also traded right so i have a net quantity of uh, one for sbi so let me show you the orders window okay so these were the number of orders that i placed okay these were the trades happened in sbi bank and this is the product wise position net quantity is one as of now okay i got a sell signal here let me see okay i got a sell here right so i want to execute this yes do and do this so a square of order will be a market order so that if you are uh, if you have any net quantity it should always get squared off so that is why the square of order is always a market order the main order which goes it is it can be a limit order or market order depending on the settings like in trading options we have a settings here okay that uh, the default order type should be limit or market so if you want to push a market order always you can select market and save it now for equity if you're pushing an order it should be an ms order or norm, uh, i mean or uh, cover order you can specify this and automatically it will take care of it right so this is the way uh, your signals coming out of the chart will come into a planned order book which we have made from here you can select which order you want to push to to an exchange for execution and i mean you have a choice i mean this is called semi automatic trading wherein everything will come pre filled your price uh, your quantity the limit whether it should be buy order sell order so everything will come pre filled you just have to click on enter or click on do to push that order this can also be used to push a basket order into a market so you know uh, maybe after market hours if you have gotten a signal let's say in 50 different scripts you can plan your trades i mean your orders out here you can save this uh, basket order and and load it at uh, any point of time whenever you feel like you know executing those orders in 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 a bunch so this planned order can also be used to push a basket order on in multiple stocks right so this is how it goes this is actually a semi automated uh, trading we have one option available as execute on off okay so normally it is off however when it is on it means any order coming out here will automatically go to exchange for trading however this feature will be available only to a dealer okay it will be available only to a dealer or a sub broker or a franchisee or any authorized person of a broker it will not be available to all so there are certain procedures which needs to be followed you know to get uh, to this level where you can execute your strategies fully automated okay as of now all retail clients would get a semi automated trading in our platform right okay so uh, this is how a semi automated trading can be handled so this example what i had taken was for moving average crossover similarly you can take any other indicator okay uh, on which we have a ready condition available so we have ready condition on bollinger ichimoku then macd okay rsi so all on this general indicators we have a ready conditions available that you, that you can directly plot on the chart and thereafter you have to plot condition to orders wherein you can specify the order value for long and short amount right so once you have uh, once you are done with this your uh, i mean your semi automation process starts right so what we'll do now is we'll take a break out here for let's say 2 minutes all right and then we will come back and i will show you how all these strategies can be constructed into our platform all right so we'll take a break for 5 minutes thank you all.